Over half of Syria's population has been forcibly displaced, fleeing bombardment, starvation, sieges, and torture, making this the largest displacement crisis of our current time, according to the UN. Being that it's a neighboring country, Lebanon has the highest number of refugees per capita, with one refugee for every four nationals, resulting in a total of 1.5 million Syrian refugees. I could no longer provide for myself and for my family. Our situation deteriorated once they started scrutinizing Syrian workers in Lebanon. Then the demonstrations started and the dollar rose. A large majority of Syrian refugees in Lebanon, as well as in other host countries, have no viable prospect of a durable solution to end their displacement in the near future. Neither the possibility of a local integration in the host country nor the resettlement to a third country are available solutions for most Syrian refugees, as threats of deportation and violations of the non-refoulement principle keep increasing. Is returning back to Syria an option? Yes, we asked, but the reality is more difficult than what we were told. I came back to Damascus, then Homs once again. The situation was really bad and my second son had to enter the hospital in Lebanon. I tried all possible ways to come back to Lebanon till I found someone who was able to get me out from Homs to Lebanon by smuggling. Conditions in Syria are not conductive for a safe and dignified return. While the rapidly deteriorating situation in Lebanon makes a voluntary and informed return decision impossible. While the solution for the refugee crisis sits in the hands of governments and international organizations, the citizens of the host country have a role to play and a human responsibility to answer to. We need to be more understanding of the situation of war refugees and the lack of solutions and alternatives presented to them. Host communities should support refugees by not discriminating against them, take an active role in ensuring their safety and integration, and pointing the fingers at the people responsible for the refugees' displacement rather than the displaced themselves. To the international community as well as the local authorities, we urge you to take action and tackle the rapidly deteriorating situation of Syria's displaced. To uphold the right to asylum for Syrian refugees and respect the principle of non-refoulement, as well as facilitate access to legal residency for Syrian refugees in Lebanon and abroad. Syria is not a safe destination of return, and any return should be safe, voluntary, dignified, and informed. <laughs>